So we have all 8 MPLPH Season 11 themes roster. MPLPH also have announced Season 11 venue, Shooting Gallery Studios in Metro Manila. There will be 3 types of tickets and yeah, this is how the stage layout looks like. MPLPH Season 11 will start on the 17th of February 2023. So, team's roster. The defending champion Blacklist International roster consists of Since coach Bonchan decided to take a break for this season, Master the Basic and Dexter will be Blacklist International coach. New players Archer, Renegade, Super Raid and Yui. Super Raid is from Team K Science Gaming, Renegade is from NXPE, and Yui from MHRLK Esports. All players are Oh My Venus, Wise, and Edward, a good mix of new and old players. I'm not sure who will be the main lineup for Blacklist International. Either way, good luck to Blacklist International. Last season, they finished second place, but in M4, they managed to become a world champion. Echo Season 11 roster, Tic Tac and Turbo will be their coach. Their new player is Jian. Jian is a content creator, streamer under Echo. Now he is part of the lineup. The world champion lineup is still playing Yawi, Kaltizi, Sanji, Sanford, and Benny Cutie. So let's see if Echo can bring their M4 momentum to MPLPH Season 11 and win the championship. They have won MPLPH Season 9 and won MSC in Malaysia and have rebranded their name to RSG Slate Philippines. Panda and Theo will be their coach. Before this, Theo did coach for Suhas Esports in MPL Malaysia. RSG Slate PH new players are Kauzen, Crick and H2O. Kauzen used to play for Onyx PH and H2O from NXPE. Players that stayed are Exot, Nas, Iman and Light. Demon Kite and Coach Gi is still in RSG Slate PH but they will not join for Season 11. So H2O will be replacing Demon Kite last season RSG PH finished third place. So let's see if they can get their throne back. After missing the playoff in season 8 until season 9, in season 10 they made the comeback. They managed to go to the playoff. Brandy Sports finished fourth place in season 10. They did win the Seabull qualifiers 2023 recently. So Brandy Sports season 11 roster consists of Ducky and Vern as their new coach. Coach Vern used to coach for Brigitte Alpha in MPLID. Brand Esport doesn't have any new players, so their players for Season 11 are Kyle TZ, Flap TZ, Super Marco, Pew, Pandora, and Okwen. Even though Onyx PH did a massive roster change last season, they managed to qualify to the playoff. Onyx PH finished 5th and 6th place. For Season 11, Onyx PH roster consists of Bluff Z and Lyric as their coach. Onyx PH Season 11 new players are Boss A and Pancake. Boss A is from Monster Anarchy. The rest are players from last season Der, Kekedot, Nets, Super Flints, Sensoi, and Ryota. So good luck to Onyx PH. This organization haven't won MPLPH yet, but they have won MSC 2021. Omega Esports, the lower bracket king. In Season 10, they finished 5th and 6th place. Omega Esports roster for Season 11 consists of Parkbat, Why Not, and E2 Max as their coach. E2 Max right now is a coach before this is a player. Their new players are Lois and Storm. Storm is from Brand Esports. The rest is from last season lineup. Miko, Ryzen, Kelra, and Renzio. Zapnu and Chatnu is not in the lineup. Chatnu decided to take a break. Zapnu, he's the leader, so he can join or not. Kelvij is in Omega Neos in MDLPH. Next play Evos have partnered up with Minana Esports for this upcoming season. Next play Evos did release a lot of players, especially their old OG players like Renegade, H2O. So for season 11, their name is still. NXP EVOS, not NXP EVOS Minana, 
their roster consists of Ison and Josh as their coach. Their players are Brusco, Ding, Boyet, Goyang, Doming, and Yelly Hayes. Only Yelly Hayes stayed from last season roster. NXPE now have a very rookie roster. Maybe this could make them get to the top three because usually young players are strong. Either way, good luck to them. Lastly, we have TNC Pro Team. They have a big roster for season 11. Their roster consists of Leaf, Scola, 413, and Wright as their coach. They have four coaches. Their new players are Innocent, King Kong, Goyo, Hesu, Rico, Savajago. Savajago is from Brand Esports. The rest is from last season Ninja Killer, formerly known as Yasuo, Kram, and Ben Things. It's a big roster before this TNC only have like 6 players in one team. Last season, they did fail to qualify to the playoff. Let's see if they can qualify to the playoff for season 11. Good luck to them. Well, that's all for MPLPH season 11 roster. Good luck to all of the teams. Top 2 will go to MSC 2023 in Cambodia. In MPLPH right now, there are 3 world champion teams. 2 MSC champion teams. 5 out of 8 teams in MPLPH have won an international tournament. Only Onyx PH, NXPE, and TNC haven't won any international tournament yet. But Onyx PH did finish second place in M3. So only 2 teams that haven't in international tournaments yet. So MPLPH is the strongest league right now. Lang. Kasi after noon, mabubuhay ulit si Sanford para makasama doon sa Lord Dance. Oh, 16 seconds. 16 seconds kay Sanford. Reset tayo. Anong magagawa ng blacklist ngayon sa 16 seconds na yan? Magpo-pok sila dito. Magpo For sure. Magpo-force sila ng isang ultimate or Pwede nilang i-verse ng Lord. Nandiyan si OM, nandiyan si Y, si Edward. And nag-zone out na. Matagal pa bago dumating si Sanford. Mm. And the trap is set. Kalahati ang buhay ng Lord. Nagkaroon so, ng concene. Si Sanchez gusto kuhanin nila doon. Sanchi, gagamit niyo yung Black Shoe. Si Edward may iiwan. O may Venus, halos walang buhay. Blaze, do it! Para sa magyo. Pero sakto yung bulwark shield. Habang yung cold outer ginamit na rin. Why start alone? Again, hook lang muna ng Kremio. Sakto sa tatlo. Pero papasok. Haji. Hortiz is down. Very cute is down as well. Pero may bawi inside ng Echo. Lalaban pa rin sila. Pero sa total ng dito ni Oe. Oe up with that double kill. Sanford. Sanford is alive. Klarong klaro ang shield ng Reyna ay itinaas at pinalagpag at ang tatlong heroes 